Judgment. Welcome back to uh, Judgment. We are just over here clearing out the city, gathering some experience for uh, the much needed people here. Because you know how that goes. Hey, let's just shoot you guys up. You don't mind, do you? Oh, look at you. I got flanked. Now with the assault rifles that I have, and even one laser rifle, there's things are going pretty good. So I don't really have to be too careful about how I approach this. And clearly I am not. So we're just going to clear out all these spaces. Each one of these, of course, give me a little bit of experience. I could stay back at the base and try to get experience that way, just by doing some of their favorite things. What the hell? Jesus. Got jumped in the corner. Excellent. Uh, you might see me picking up some research material that, that is uh, each tier one through five has its own type of research material that you need to find. And it is not random. It is location specific. So if you're looking for tier one material, you need to go to tier one places to find it. Tier two is tier two places, tier three, tier three places, and so on. So, for example, I am currently getting tier 2 gear. Wow. By uh, going through the city and picking up some of the, uh, the things here. Like, for example, this has got the research materials, tier 2. You can also use your little search icon up here. If you've got a lot of the map uh, already exposed, you can use that search to find all of the places that you've seen. Where, who has what? Another little tidbit is uh, in combat. Uh, armor can make a difference, but it is not a case of immunity by any stretch of the imagination. It is simply damage mitigation. Every point of armor that you have takes one point of damage off. Uh, every point of evasion is 1% less chance to hit. So if you have a 1000% a, a evasion, nothing can hit you that has anything less than a 1001 ability to hit. There is always a minimum. So uh, these guys will always have a, I think a 5% chance to hit you. But uh, that's how the evasion works. But you may think, great, well, if I've got up to enough evasion, things should be fine. No, that's not the case. The uh, accuracy that you get, so for example, if I look here at my character, look underneath the skills, you can see that my accuracy is 150%. So that means that when I shoot at something like a fire imp who has a 10-point evasion, I have a 140% chance to hit him. So I will hit him 95% of the time or less. However, if I shoot at a, what's the most evasive thing in the board? Belial at 80. Uh, that's 150 minus 80. I have a 70% chance to hit him. And if you're a low level with like a 70% accuracy and you're trying to shoot a Belial, forget it. Not happening. So that's how those things work. And that's why levels make a difference. One gives you, you know, you keep getting increased accuracy. And also the higher the tier of the enemy you're attacking, the more evasion, the more accuracy they have, the more armor they have. So, for example, when I do damage with my assault rifle, which says I do 22 points of damage, when I shoot, say, a succubus, who has an armor rating of 4, I don't do 22, I do 18 points of damage. And in addition, it does 11 damage. If she shoots this guy here, 
he's got 13 armor. So every time she hits him, he takes one point of damage. One point is minimum. You can't be immune. Not allowed. You could be very hard to hurt. Out of curiosity, the highest armor rating in the game is Legion. Actually, it's, it's Arc Demon followed by Legion. 15 and 14 consecutively, or respectively. So my uh, assault rifles at 22 will damage everything more than a point, but you can imagine 22 minus 15, I'm doing seven times every time I hit. That's not a whole lot of damage, especially when the Arc Demon has 500 health. Yeah, that's uh, damn near 100, 80, 80 hits. Do not speed through higher levels. I mean, if you're going to speed through stuff, be sure that your level is, is definitely higher than whatever you're, you're fighting so that uh, you can deal with this kind of thing. Because it's messy. But it's also worth, you know, going through this for speed because you can get a lot more experience in a shorter amount of time. Definitely something to deal with. I also like clearing this thing out. The, clearing the map does not seem... To, far as I can tell so far, it doesn't have an impact on what it is that you encounter at home or how often you encounter at home. I kind of feel like the amount of stuff that you've cleared out around your base should have some impact on um, awareness generation. I'm not sure if I, uh, I might want to think through that a bit more, but it, it feels like if you clear everything out around your base, the awareness generation should be a little bit less. But I can also see the flip side of it, which is, yeah, but then they start wondering why, why everything disappeared. So I guess you have to answer, uh, answer an underlying mechanics question of the game, which is, are these guys just pouring through and moving out in a mob fashion? In which case, there is no command and control. There is no coherency in their attacks. They just go out and they occupy and they eat and they consume. That's kind of the way I see uh, zombies in the world. You know, if there is a, a zombie thing, they aren't generally directed. And as such, you should uh, not have to worry about them figuring out, oh, yeah, well, some zombie got killed in, in Georgia. We should go find out what's going on because clearly somebody killed the zombie in Georgia. Uh, I think it's, you know, with the demons, you could make the argument that, no, there is there is somebody in the, in the center of this. Maybe imps and fire imps and minor demons and stuff don't care, don't communicate. They just go out and wreak havoc. You know, you might you might have on a demonic level uh, some of your guys going out just to create chaos. But if you're sending out fallen angels and they don't come back, somebody's going to notice, right? That's, that's the general idea. And uh, at that point, I think that's when you get to start saying things like, uh, well, yeah, but if things start missing, I'm going to send in stronger creatures to try to figure out what happened. And that could be a justification for stronger things when they do attack, attacking your base. Uh, let's look back up here. Get some distance. Concentrate some fire. Okay. <sighs> yeah, that's a thing I, I, I would like to see more in games where someone takes the time to really build out the underlying mechanics of the, the, the game. And I don't mean just, you know, guns shoot this fast, but I mean the underguy of philosophy and, and intelligence behind what's going on in the game. So that, uh, you know, when you start thinking about, well, how would they react to this? You can actually start to have that programmatically react in the game to whatever you're doing. Like I was explaining with, you know, somebody notices a fallen angels, angels missing. They don't care about imps. You kill off all the imps you want. Nobody's going to be coming looking for them. But you kill off a few fallen angels. They're going to come looking.
keep going through the city. Okay. That was a nastier encounter. But we got a more advanced uh, research kit there. That was uh, fine. It'll be worth some cash. Nah, give it up. You guys are too low level. I wonder if this is what they intended. So you should go through and clear out everything. How we doing? Still doing okay. I'll come back and around here. I'm going up and down. <clears throat> I know this is moving along fast enough that I don't have to worry about how my uh, awareness generation is happening back at home. Nice. She's getting some experience. She might go up a level through while we're here. That'd be nice. It is nice to see uh, the map starting to clear out. Oh man, it's. I do not like this M I M. And this is kind of why everything comes in like right on the, right on the heels. You guys gonna come around? Nope, there it is. Oh look. How we doing? Still doing pretty good. Scouts are gonna take some damage. To be expected. Partly because Scout's faster than everybody else. So she tends to be out front when we engage, especially when we're going quick like this. Nobody? One crew went there. Uh, I think I saw Blink. Yep, there we go. Blink. Uh, you. Are you going to come around the side? No. Doggy. Chewing on my backside. Let's see, clear these two rows and then one down and go back. Let's see where we're at with uh, all of our research. Now look at you. took a little bit of damage. I might want to consider heading back now. Or not. 
because I'm I'm stubborn that way. More research books. Good for trade. Should I stop by that town and see if they want to trade with me? Try that. Where are you guys? Here you are. Come here. Oh, I shot the succubus and the werewolf is pissed. Oh, he had two succubuses. And I can understand now why you're pissed. Okay. Succubuses are not made of, of uh, silver. Just saying. We will go right to there. Boop. You. I saw more over here. Where did you go? There you are. Metals are good. What am I at? Seven left? Could be dealing with some uh, fallen angels here. Nice. Keep in mind that Legion is uh, 14 armor. One point off max for everything in this game. Very tough. Very, very tough. Dead Fallen Angel. You! I'll kill you both. Okay. Almost. Four left. Oh, these guys went right where they were supposed to. That's nice. Ta-da! Can you reach? Can't. Oh, damn it. Not what I meant. One way to pull monsters. Throw a grenade. What could go wrong?
Oh, I think I can snipe him. Works for me. And then I'll do this one. Oop, somebody got a level. I don't know if it's one of these guys. I hope it is. Very nicely done. <laughs> Finally, just about the time I'm about to go home is when you give me the uh, the extra defense. Anybody else? Looks good, and I think I'll take this shopping center before I come home. And then we'll take a look and see who leveled. Clearly, I'm not too worried about it. succulents. Didn't anybody tell you you shouldn't be out by yourself at night? All right, I want to go. Duh, can't recruit. Someone does not trust you. Improve your relationship. Trade convoy is not ready. Go home. Okay. While they're heading home. Ah, Bridget went up. Scouting party. Pause. For me. Okay. Who is two Cerberus, a Belial, four Liches, two Demigorgon. You guys scout all you want. Enjoy yourself. Uh, there is... I'm just left here. Not much. Go ahead and do that. Wait, James? James is almost done here. Okay, James, you got reforged as an engineer. Nice. Elitist. <laughs> he doesn't want to do anything except for craft and research. Okay. And he's got research. So he's got a plus 70% to research speed? Jesus. All right. Well, you're a researcher then. Priorities? Uh, yep. Research followed by crafting. You'll never see anything. You'll, you'll never stop researching. So then crafting won't really matter. Is that a research station? I think it is. That's a workbench. All the research stations are completely full at the moment. Uh, what do we got down here? Alchemy table, weapons workshop. <sighs> Grace. Damage. I need to put in... Can't build a blood ruby mine yet. Where do I put more research? Could put a building over here. Right? And I could probably double up all the research here if I do that. Um... Okay, hold on. That, blow it up. Yes, thank you. And then we'll build here.
building or block areas of your base. Yes, I see that. I suppose I could go right here. How are we doing on crafting up that? I need aluminum. Shoot. I seem to remember this issue. I'm almost there, so let's go ahead and get there and we'll buy it. Okay, now I got aluminum. So I can locate aluminum deposits unless because I did that they popped up. Metal. Okay, so I have to go here and locate aluminum deposits. We have to level up. Ritual did. Yep, we're going up on damage. Your guard poster. James! Research. Did I pick up enough? No. Um, I think I need to re-equip James here. Academic, your farming speed is through the freaking roof. So what do I want you to do when you're not doing research or doing that? I can have you do some occult research. That might not be a bad idea considering where my occult research is at the moment. Let's take a look at your priorities. You got scientific. Let's bring your occult research up. Traitor. Mine. Mine. Okay, now. MTAR 21, range 7. 2877? So it is definitely better. Even the grenade in it is better. Gaia's Wrath, rare form. Is that aluminum? No, it's titanium. I'm going to take it because I got some stuff I can sell off here anyway. Let's see. We're going to first sell off some books. I don't think they're ever going to come back for the books, so that's fine. We'll do that. The feather moat's gone. Go sell that off. Baseball bat, that's gone. Holy armor, I don't need. Hunter gear can go. Both of them. And the leather jacket. Where am I at? Not bad. Uh, Meganized plates can go too. Harkbus. Demon's mouth. Gonna keep it. But I think we're good. Let's level this, level it out here with this. There we go. Trade. All right. So 
Uh, who is lagging? Deborah's kind of lagging here. So is A tank. You got bow accuracy. So you might be the one I want to give the MTAR to. You got tag rifles though. Let's see if anybody's got tag rifles. You do. You've got the laser the laser gun. You do. So what you've got 23 13 10. 23 13 10. You got better attack speed, but worse accuracy. You got bonus accuracy, bonus damage, bonus range. You get the MTAR. 39 damage. Nice. Eight point, you're going to be kicking ass, Grace. All right. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot there. I just picked up some the medical journal for a heal. So let's go see who's got... One heal, no heal. So now she's got a heal. I think everybody's got heals now, right? Pretty well, no, not everybody. And you certainly need more work. So what do we got going on here? Defensive aura, concentration. I really like the reroll on James. That came out really nice. What do you may? Map speed, quarrying, body builder. I think you're probably fine. You're a lab assistant. I think you're fine. However, you should get renamed another research. What is your function going to be? Quarry? G G B Quarry. And James, you're definitely a research. All right. This allows me to organize. Come back, join me in the next episode. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows In the corners of your mind I go with the window Run, but I don't hide I hear the call of the wild Whispering the name No, I can't be tamed My heart belongs to the night I'm alone, I'm alone I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a